Hello beautiful and welcome to today's video. My name is Cosmina and in today's video we are going to comment on the outfits that I wore for the last couple of weeks. I uh, came up with this idea of like trying to style clothes from my uh, closet and not have the need to go and purchase some more. Um, which I'm also challenging you to do the same but mostly what I try to do with this video is to show you that you don't have to be a certain size to be able to wear certain clothes and maybe to give you a little bit of some ideas of what to wear, how to wear, how to put things together, how to make things look cute but I always say the attitude is the one that matters the most and then the outfit will just flow because you have the right attitude with it. So now let's go and look at these outfits. By the way, if you're new here, please consider subscribe. We are on our long journey to 1,000 subscribers. We are a 221 family right now. So I will really appreciate your support. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up as well. But let's proceed. First outfit, this is a job interview outfit. I really like this outfit. I, I'm not sure if this is like necessarily my best work, but those pants, I found them at TJ Maxx. The top is Target. The uh, blazer, it's a men's blazer that I found that I found at Goodwill. And those um, booties, summer booties that have the cutouts for your feet to breed. Um, in black are really nice and they're very comfortable as well and uh, that's how I put this thing together you know it was just a nice uh, little outfit that I thought is gonna look good for a job interview now you may say that is too much maybe but depends of the job depends of the job all right, second day here, we are going to the beach. <laughs> this is a beach outfit. Of course, I, I wasn't, I didn't went to any beach that day, but this was like living my fantasy. And that was a really, um, that, that's a dress that I had for a while that I really, really like because it has that split on the left leg. And I decided to put that one in with this, uh, sneakers from like slip-ons from Nautica that I found in my TJ uh, Maxx and also that pink beautiful straw uh, hat with those big glasses and my Aloha bag from Hawaii that I purchased from Hawaii because I was dreaming I was going to the beach in Hawaii. All right another one that was still inspired from like going to vacation right and this is what i would wear to a tropical vacation like dinner or maybe going out for like some uh, some beautiful shopping you know and i really love it. it it's such a beautiful um flower pattern on it and i put it with a, a pair of uh, black um shoes with it and that beautiful bag that I also, I think I found that at Target. I think I found it at Target. And I had this <laughs> beautiful and huge, huge um, hat that I bought from Hawaii last time I've been there. All right, this next outfit. This next outfit, I was like, you know, this next outfit kind of gives me mom vibes i'm not a mom but i was like this is how it that's what it gives me um so i put my hair in a bun i added my glasses this blazer that i'm wearing today a, a white uh, top and some light wash jeans with the same nautica like sneakers that i wore the other day and the same bag like the other day i really like this outfit all right this uh, other outfit this is a really this is like a staple this is basically me in an outfit <laughs> it's like a body bodysuit a pair of jeans usually i like darker jeans um and these are a little bit of a darker wash and then a blazer in sneakers 
that's that's I, I can live with that any day every day I can live with that I'm not a type of sweatpants type of girl those this is like my sweat my sweat uh, option <laughs> so to speak but yeah this is a really nice cute outfit I right, saw so this outfit I just was feeling myself <laughs> I'm not sure if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but I was feeling myself and I wore this um, jeans that are, I think they're Ralph Lauren. They're like vintage ones that I found at uh, Goodwill, I think. And this uh, really nice top, milk made top from Target. That bag, I bought it from Holland when I went there. I just uh, went there for one day. <laughs> um, for a layover in those shoes from Amazon that are very comfortable and really pretty. My hair was crazy that day too. Oh, this I think is my favorite. I think this is my favorite. I love, love that dress. That dress is so soft. It's so nice. I found it on Tar on uh, Amazon actually and um those sneakers again those are my favorite sneakers there's a fila and that hat and i feel like this outfit is just so pretty and beautiful and you can go to paris and scroll around um champs Elysees or whatever the street you want and uh, feel like you belong that's that's how i feel in this dress this day i decided to go for a grunge attire you know i wanted to be a little bit more grungy because it was kind of dark and and because it was like one of those days that um i'm not having a good day <laughs> you know so i decided to put a t-shirt with this green dress um that is not necessarily my favorite and those red um I love those shoes. I love those shoes. The the red sandals and that bag that I thrifted. Those shoes are just favorites. I love them. This uh, this one, this outfit I called it Meet Your Ex. <laughs> you know, it's like one of those things when you want to meet your ex and you just kind of want to prove him that he missed out or not. Um being with you so this is that outfit you know i just want to be like here you go sucker uh i am better without you and um i went with this beautiful cheetah print dress that looks like a wrap dress it's not a wrap dress but it looks like it and it's so beautiful and i love that it just kind of hugs my curves in the right place and i added those um white sandals that I haven't worn in a long, long, long time, but they're very nice and comfortable as well. And this red little bag. All right, so this outfit, I didn't, I did not record it. I just took a picture of it. So I decided to go with the Milkmaid top, uh, that blazer that I used uh, the other day, and another pair of jeans that are like boyfriend jeans, and my filler shoes. But the, the rock star of this outfit is that beautiful Betsy Johnson um, bag that I found at TJ Maxx a while back. Uh, and it's so beautiful. I loved it. I love that ever since. And I worn it a lot, a lot. This other outfit is an outfit that I worn very, oh, a lot. Um, this is a shirt that I wear a lot because I love it. I love it. I love the black with the red roses. It looks so pretty. And also I love that um, black pair of jeans. Again, my beautiful shoes and that beautiful, beautiful uh, bag. I love it. Okay, this is another one that is kind of like my favorite too, because this one is, like I said, it's about the attitude. 
And when I put this together, I really didn't think of, uh, much about it. But then when I was looking in the mirror, I was like, wow, this actually looks good. This actually looks so good. It feels good. It's comfortable. It's good for the summer. And also, I love that uh, pop of blue right there with that Hello Kitty bag. Because it's a Hello Kitty bag that I, my husband gave it to me. Eight, nine years ago? Wow, it's been a long time. And of course, my few shoes, because I love those shoes, and that hat too. And the last one in here, if you watch my um if you watch my shorts, you already seen it. But this is the uh maxi dress that I have, and I put those nautica shoes with it and this straw bag that I that I had for a while as well. But yeah, this is uh, pretty much what I worn these past couple of weeks. Let me know which one you like the most. There's some that are better than others, but I feel like every day I look like a different person, <laughs> and that's what I like. I don't like to be the same person every day. I guess <laughs> if that makes any sense. But yeah, those are the, the outfits. Let me know down below which one you preferred. Now for the Romanian phrase of the day, let's go with something simple. Rede chob de wala sparta. So it is rede chob de wala sparta. Rede chob de wala sparta. What that means, apparently, in English, it translates, the pot calls the kettle back. So, I don't know if that's necessarily the right translation, but <laughs> what it means, um, it's when somebody is laughing at somebody else, when somebody is just like making fun of somebody else situation, for example, uh... There's two co-workers and they laugh, uh, one co-worker laugh uh, at the other one and saying, hey, you know, you have this amount of work to do. And it's like, oh yeah, well, you have the same amount of work to do as I do. So it's basically, you're basically laughing at this situation that you are already in as well. So I don't know why you're laughing at it, if that makes sense. But yeah, pretty much that's what we... We try what that's what we mean when we say that. Rede chop de wall is Alright, well that's it for today. Thank you so much for uh stopping by and keeping me company and I will see you all next time. Bye now.